Hi guys. Okay, so this video isn't anything fancy. I have no makeup on. My hair's actually wet. Just got out of the shower. But something has happened again that has... It doesn't offend me. It doesn't make me angry. It bugs me. Ignorance bugs me. I am one of those people who jokes. I crack up laughing. I will make funny faces. I, I make crazy faces all the time. I mean, it's sad. However, ignorance drives me nuts. It's just one of the, like, educate yourself. Ask a question. If you don't understand something, ask the person. Never had a problem with this myself. I will walk up and ask somebody. I don't find it offensive. So, I wear a cross. I am a follower of Jesus. I have a cross wall in my living room that I adore. It is the most chaotic thing I have ever done in my life. But it's so beautiful because it's me. It's what I believe. It's everything I stand for. Well, in April, I started wrapping my head. We have been, as a family, celebrating God's feasts for over a year. So we celebrate Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, a Feast of Tabernacles, Hanukkah, Passover, all of these things. We celebrate them. But we put Jesus in that spotlight. Like, for example, Hanukkah is the festival of lights. Well, Jesus is our light. So it's all to glorify him. Right? Makes sense. So I've been asked a few times from family members, from people who are acquaintances at church. My kids' friends have asked them. Since I started covering my head, I've gotten the question, are you Jewish now? So it's such a simple question. And it's not offensive. I love the Jewish faith. There's something so beautiful about it. And the way I look at it is they're our family too. If you're a Christian, they're your family. Jesus was Jewish. Why does it matter? First of all, it doesn't matter. Anyways, okay, so I was asked by an acquaintance at church it's a lady that I know, but I don't know. She's not really like one of those people I talk to about like personal deep things. It's like, hey, how are you doing? Oh, where's your husband? How is he doing? Oh, how's your granddaughter? You know, that, you know what I mean. So she went, oh my gosh, why are you still going to this church? And I was like, what do you mean? I've been going to this church for over three years and I love my church. My church is amazing. Would not trade my church family for anything. I love them dearly. They have done so much for me and my family. So she was like, so you're Jewish now? Why are you still here? I turned around without skipping a beat. Sometimes my mouth can get me in so much trouble. And I was like, I'm not a Christian. And she was like, wait, what? Can you like go back and repeat that? And I was like, I am not a Christian. And she was like, well, why are you still going to this church then? And I was like, I'm not a Christian. I'm a follower of Jesus. Mic drop. Her jaw dropped. So I explained to her, I'm not changing my faith. I love Jesus. I love everything he's done for me, but my customs, they're going to grow as I grow. They're going to change as I change. They're going to shift and morph according to what God has told me to do. That's the only person I follow is God. If he tells me to do it, I'm going to do it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Because if you don't do something God has told you to do, really? You're in trouble. It's just like if your mom were like, go make your bed and you didn't do it, you're in trouble. So why do we treat God any differently? So I came home and I was 
thinking about what I had said, that I wasn't a Christian. I was a follower of Jesus. And it's so true. I'm not a Christian. I am a follower of Jesus. I am not a member of the church. I am a part of his kingdom. I am not a religion. I am the beloved daughter of the king. Everything I do is for him. It's to glorify him. That's it. And then, so I get the, oh, well, you don't have to cover your head. That's a Jewish law. You don't have to be or eat foods that only the Bible says are clean. That's a Jewish law. You don't have to celebrate Hanukkah. That's a Jewish law. So I keep getting like all of this. Oh, blah. Jesus said that foods were clean. All foods were clean. Jesus came and took away the Old Testament. And that's something that actually really bugs me. Sorry, my eye edges. That's something that actually really bugs me is when people are like, oh, Jesus came so we don't have to follow the Old Testament anymore. And I'm like, then why are you quoting Psalms? Why are you quoting Jeremiah and Joshua and Genesis and telling your kids the story of Noah if it doesn't matter anymore because Jesus came and changed it? Then why are you reading it? Why wouldn't Christians have their own Bible with just the New Testament? That's not how it works. Jesus even said it in Matthew 5, 17 through 19. Jesus said, I did not come to abolish, but to fulfill the Torah. That's it. He did not come to abolish, but to fulfill. And it goes on to say that nothing will be wiped away until all things come to pass. So not a letter, nothing of the word of God will be changed until it's all done. That to me is pretty clear. Like, it's done. <laughs> done. Clear. Jesus said it. He did not come to fulfill the law or to change the law, but to fulfill it. So why are we messing with it? Jesus was a Shmika rabbi. He had the authority to change whatever he wanted to change. He was the son of God. He didn't change it. And people are like, oh, well, especially when it comes to unclean food, people get testy about their bacon. Let me tell you. When it comes to food, they're like, oh, Jesus made all food unclean or all food clean. There is no more unclean food. And I'm like, okay, well, then why is, why are they talking about unclean food in Revelation? That's the end of the Bible, the end. Like we have the beginning and you go through all revelations at the end. They're talking about unclean food. But I thought you said everything's clean now. I can eat whatever I want to. Mm, no. It also says in Exodus 12 49 that the same Torah applies to the native as well as the outsider. So you can't you can't go through and pick and choose and pick and choose and pick and choose what you want to follow. You can't do it. You follow it. You don't follow it. You follow it. You don't follow it. There's no gray area. Everyone's so obsessed with this gray area. It's black or it's white. That's it. So I am not Jewish. I am not a Christian. I am a follower of Jesus. Jesus did not intend for his word and his teachings to be dropped on the floor and shattered into th over 30,000 different denominations. I was raised Pentecostal. That freaks people out in and of itself. If someone says, oh, I'm Mormon or oh, I'm a Jehovah's Witness, you're like, oh my gosh, you are the one that knocks on my door and drives me crazy. It doesn't matter. If you follow God's word and you do what you are supposed to do and you're kind to others and you love them and you genuinely care and you do as God commands, what difference does it make? Like, really? Jewish, Christian, whatever denomination is in there, 
because we like our denominations. Oh, I can't go to your church because I'm a Baptist. Or, oh, I can't do this because I'm Lutheran. Or, I can't do this because I'm Mormon. Really? So we can't be friends? We believe in the same Bible. We believe in the same God. Even those of the Jewish faith believe in the same God. So what difference does it make? It breaks my heart that we have to label it. Everything, it's label, 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 label. The only label I care about is that I'm Aaron. God made me in all my splotchy red glory. He made me, he made my heart. He made my mind, he made my crazy wacky sense of humor. It doesn't matter. I've been having conversations with women who are Jewish and I've come to love very, very deeply about what to make for Rosh Hashanah. What, what dinner do you like to make? This is what I'm making, what are you making? It doesn't matter. Do what you're commanded to do. That's it. God commanded me to cover my head. He commanded me to stop eating unclean foods. He commanded me to celebrate his feasts, not those traditions that were handed down by man. God has made it extremely clear to me that I am not to follow what man says and what man dictates is right, but what he does. And that's what I'm doing. I know this seems like a giant tangent video, but I know there have to be other people who are having the same struggle. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the word that you are following and the God that you are following. He is amazing. And he will hold you and he will guide you through any struggle. So just remember that. As always, Go out and loo. Lift others up. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, no matter how much they mess with you about your head covering or what holiday you celebrate or how you raise your kids, tell them to have a blessed day and that you love them so very much. And I will see you all soon.